Hi, I'm Yosef Solomon and this is Tikkun's Pesach message. Pesach, or the festival of Pesach, is synonymous with the idea of the exodus, of the Jewish people's breaking out of their slavery in Egypt. Now what's really interesting about this is that unlike any of the other festivals, the core message of Pesach is something which is repeated throughout you know, Jewish liturgy and well, really throughout our day, because we mention in our Shema, in our daily prayers, it's something that the Torah advises that we should remember every day. It's one of the six Zechiris remembrances, and it's also something that we say every single Shabbat. And in fact, every time we say a Kiddush, we sanctify the day and we use the words Zeichel Yat Mitzrayim, which means a memorial from coming out of Egypt. Why is this so important? What's so? Why would, why would God want us to remember the whole time? that we were once slaves in Egypt. Seems a bit strange. I mean, if you knew someone who got out of prison, you think he'd want to be reminded every day that he was once in prison? I'm gonna try and answer the, this, this question for you by asking another question. Yeah, it's a Jewish thing to do. When God um, presents himself, when he comes down at Mount Sinai and he breaks open, let's say, the fabric of finite creation, this infinite being comes down to say, you know, hello for the first time to the over three and a half million people. He doesn't say, I'm the Lord your God who created this gorgeous, beautiful universe. Rather, what he says is, I'm the Lord your God that took you out of Egypt. Now, there's something powerful in that message. And I think you can learn from a story that's just been in the news in the past couple of months exactly why that is. It's a story about a Japanese soldier called Hiro Onada. He died in January at age 91. He was, an, he was a national hero in Japan and well known all over the world as the last Japanese soldier to surrender. He was sent to the Philippines in 1944 with the orders of never to surrender and never to take his own life. And even though the war ended a year later, he retreated into the jungle and he fought for another 30 years a guerrilla war against the Philippine people even though there was no war anymore. And even though the Japanese government was sending him messages and letters from his family and saying, it's over, come home, give up, he refused to surrender under surmountable odds, surviving on mangoes and bananas, fighting a war that wasn't even there. Now why? How would that be? There's lots of valiant soldiers and great stories of people doing amazing things throughout all the wars. What was special about him that he could fight for 30 more years, years with such loyalty? Some people would tell you that it's, you know, Discipline, it's the Japanese army, the Japanese way. But there weren't that many other people that did that. So he writes in his own book, in his autobiography, a story about how when he would feel pretty down about life, his mother would teach him to not complain. She taught him that gratitude for what was given to him was the main platform, the main foundation for him to be able to go through that and to give back. You see, he wasn't just fighting for, you know, flag and country, for the empire and the, and, the, and the imperial Japan. He was fighting because he was giving back. He felt a debt of gratitude to Japan and that what kept him going. Now, that message of gratitude is really the most powerful message of foundation that anyone could have in any relationship. If you're an employer or an employee, a parent or a child, it doesn't matter. Gratitude has the ability when it's real, to give you a positive feeling, a good emotion, an experience of something that's greater than you because you're seeing the positive that's in the relationship, in the other person that's in your life. And that positive feeling stands with you through all times, even through what seems to be bad times. And that's what could give a person the ability to go through 30 years of a war, which might not even be there. As strange as that sounds, this is the message, a core message that Pesach gives us, that we want to remember every day. It's not that we just came out of Egypt. God took us out of Egypt and He gave us a purpose as a nation, as individuals. He gave us a beautiful life and that's something that to be grateful for and that gratitude carries us through to a beautiful and meaning life. So this Pesach, as you go into the festival, don't only look at you know, the negative things you want to let go of, your own personal slaveries but have a look at all the positive things in your life the positive relationships that you have and appreciate them it'll take you so much further